Good evening. My name's uh, Alvaro Guzman. I'm an assistant chief with the Houston Police Department. Today we responded to uh, assist the officer at 9700 Burtwood at approximately 2.15. Uh, when we responded here, we were assisting Harris County deputies. They had uh, responded, some of their deputies, District 2 deputies, responded to a suspicious person with two vehicles that had been in altercation at 1334 at 4083 Orange Grove. When they were arriving at the location, they saw one of the vehicles uh, described to be involved in the altercation. They tried to initiate a pursuit with that vehicle, which was a gray Malibu. The Malibu uh, evaded officers. Officers, or the Harris County deputies, began a, sh a pursuit until the vehicle wrecked at the uh, 3500 block of Polly. Once the vehicle uh, wrecked, five suspects got out of the vehicle. Two suspects were detained after a short foot pursuit. One suspect evaded. One su another suspect also evaded, but he was also caught a short time later uh, by K-9, where he sustained an injury, a dog bite. And then the other suspect was located here at the 9700 block of Burtwood. When deputies engaged with him, uh, there was an exchange of gunfire where the suspect was struck and he was transported to a local hospital where he was uh, declared deceased. Um, and I apologize, I did not introduce uh, the people that I have here with me. I have Chief Diaz with me with the Harris County uh, Sheriff's Department, and I have also Commander Hassig with the Houston Police Department's Homicide Division, who will be conducting the investigation regarding the criminal aspect of it. So, any questions? There was a call regarding a suspicious person between two vehicles and altercation. One vehicle was described as they had weapons, so that's what the original call that the deputies were responding to. So when they responded to that location, that's where they saw one of the vehicles described in the call slip. When they tried to initiate a traffic stop, that's when the vehicle began to evade from them. How many total arrests? There's uh, three total arrests. Uh, one uh, suspect is deceased, the one involved in officer-involved shooting, and one suspect was able to get away. We conducted a thorough search with a, a Fox, the air support. However, we weren't able to locate him. Uh, one other thing, there was the suspect that was captured by the canine. It was located, he was captured close to an elementary school, uh, Shady Dell Elementary School. The school was put on temporary lockdown. We communicated that with the Houston Independent School District Police Department. There was no threat to the, the children there, the students there. The lockdown has since been lifted. And uh, as at this point right now, there is no threat to the community. But we still have one suspect. One suspect didn't, was able to evade and get away. Uh, we did a very uh, thorough search with our air support and units, ground units. We weren't able to locate them. But at this time, we don't feel that there's any threat to the public. Do we think he's armed? That, we don't know. We weren't able to see if, uh, if he had a weapon when they evaded. And how many weapons have we recovered total? Uh, can you answer that? Yes, sir. I know we have at least one, which is the one with the officer involved shooting. Do we know what kind of weapon? That, no, not yet. We're still processing the scene. Do you know what the altercation at the beginning was? Was it road rage? That we don't know. We just had preliminary that it was just described as two vehicles. Uh, persons in one of the vehicles was described as having a weapon. So that's what the deputies were responding to. But we weren't able to locate the other the vehicle, which was described as a black Tahoe. Uh, it just came into contact with this gray Malibu. Is this scene at all connected to the, it seems like a road rate incident, incident on FM uh, 1960? That's a little way. I don't, I don't believe, I don't know what incident you're talking about, but okay. I can't say that it is. Or is it? tweeted it out. Apparently one man was shot inside of his car and he hit other parked vehicles. At this time, we don't believe so, but if it is, we'll let y'all know that. Are these suspects known to you guys? Do we kind of know who these guys are? Uh, Run-ins before? I'll defer that to the Harris County Chief Diaz. Uh, as far as HPD, we'll have to keep looking at that. But right now, I don't believe so. I'll let him answer. But I believe this was just the initial contact that we're going to have. We would have found, realized more information if we would have stopped the vehicles in, involved in that altercation. We would have been able to identify them. However, we will be able to identify some of the people we have in custody. But at that time, right now, we don't have that information unless you have something else. Yeah. And do we think, so we haven't found this black Tahoe. Do, you, do we think this suspect is with the black Tahoe? No, no, no. These are two separate parties. Oh, okay. okay. So two separate parties, initial call involving a black Tahoe and a gray Malibu. Right. Suspects were all gray Malibu. Yes. Where did this 
first start? This started over at 4083 Orange Grove. And it culminated here? Yes, the vehicle was pursued. It ended up at 3500 Poly. Obviously the suspect that we were per, that, that was evading was involved in an officer involved shooting was here at um, 9700 Burtwood. Yes, yes. Who made uh, that initial call? Someone in one of the vehicles or someone outside the vehicle? We'll have to look at that on the call slip for Harris County. I, I, we don't have that on the HPD side. We'll be looking at that. I don't know if y'all have that. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, hey, wait, just to confirm the exchange of gunfire between deputies and the suspect, how many deputies shot? I, I can jump in on Yeah, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm uh, Tommy Diaz, Assistant Chief with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank the Houston Police Department, the Houston Fire Department, and HISD Police Department. They all assisted in the uh, uh, in this particular episode. HIS HISD Police Department was key in protecting the school, which is just around the corner. Uh, as as my partner uh, alluded to earlier, there was a pursuit that that subsequently ended here. Um, that particular call for service started as a, a suspicious person. The call notes kind of described a, a, uh, a disturbance between two vehicles. One of those vehicles matched the description that we initiated a uh, traffic stop on. Um, the other vehicle was a black Tahoe. We never saw the black Tahoe. Uh, a, a weapon was um, described as being involved in that in the earlier disturbance. So deputies got there as quickly as possible. Uh, that, that Orange Grove address is near uh, south of um, Aldine Mail Route in 59. So uh, a few miles uh, pursuit from all the mail route south on 59 and then east on Tidwell and that's how we ended up here. So a, a, in addition to HPD's special investigation unit who will handle the criminal investigation, the Harris County Sheriff's Office Internal Affairs Division is on scene. Uh, they also will conduct a, 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 an independent investigation uh, checking for policy viol any particular policy violations. Did we do everything correctly? Um, did you know was uh, we'll review body worn camera which as you all know we will release pretty quickly here. Uh, in addition to that the deputies, uh, after the officer involved shooting, the, the suspect was struck and deputies Im immediately gave first aid. Um, and once again, thank you to the Houston Fire Department. They made the scene, transported the, the, uh, the suspect. Um, the Harris County District Attorney's Office is also here, who makes all officer involved shootings, and uh, they're conducting their review. The Medical Examiner's Office, the Houston, or the Harris County Institute of Forensic Science will, will make the scene as well. And as with all of these, we report these to the Texas Attorney General's Office. Uh, do you have any questions for the sheriff's office? Right. Yes, sir. Regarding the exchange of gunfire between yes, the deputies and the suspect, who fired first and how many deputies were involved? So two deputies were involved. One deputy has uh, 10 years on as a Harris County Sheriff's deputy. The other has 11 years on with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Uh, it's to be determined yet as, you know, the sequence of events uh, with regards to what, what shots were fired initially and subsequently. So, so at this time, you don't know who fired first, suspect or deputy? Correct. I, I, don't, I don't have that information. So the suspect did fire weapon though. There's indications, there's evidence of that, correct. Okay, and, I, and he is correct. Is ever, all of these suspects men? Correct, yes. Do we know race, age? Uh, the, the suspects uh, that, that, I can, that I can speak on are Hispanic males, um, late teens, early 20s. And they don't live in this neighborhood, they just ended up here? Uh, we don't know that yet. Um, when we, once we've taken the suspects in custody, uh, we have to slow things down, you know, and, and at that point before we identify them and interview them, Houston Police Department's primary, so we certainly didn't want to like you know, violate any civil rights or anything like that. So, so I know this is all preliminary, yes, but do we believe the deputies fired because the suspect like brandished the weapon, pointed it? I think with that, you know, that's kind of like speculating on what the deputies were thinking or feeling at the time. So I'd prefer that we let Houston Police Department interview them and, and have that opportunity before we kind of comment to be on. Clear that. that initial disturbance was the. Um, Malibu shooting at the Tahoe, is that confirmed? No, no, that, that isn't confirmed at this point or anything. Okay, like so just a disturbance like? Correct, but a, in, a disturbance was described, a weapon was said to be on scene, but nothing, there wasn't a whole lot of information as to like who was who was the aggressor or who was, who was not or anything like that. So that's gonna be part of the investigation where we have to follow up and say what was witnessed on that scene. Okay. Is the suspect's vehicle at Great Malibu, is it still here on scene? Yes, it's on, um, on at the inter uh, up the road on Polly is where that is where the the term the pursuit ended. Can you uh, spell that street name? Polly, P-O-L-L-Y. Anything 
know if Nefarious found in that vehicle? Uh, we haven't searched it yet. We're, you know, the, we waited for the Houston Police Department, their primary, so they'll they'll process that steam with their crime scene investigators. And as of now, the just our um, deceased suspect is the one with the weapon. We don't know if anyone Correct. else had a gun. Correct. I don't know. Okay. We would like to say a few words in Spanish if we can. Do you want to go? Sure. Okay. Any more questions as far as the English portion? Real quick, sorry. And that gun was recovered. Yes. Correct. Yes. Okay. Hola, ¿cómo están? Este, soy el asistente jefe de la Houston Police Department, Álvaro Guzmán. Este, estamos aquí en el 9700 Burtwood, donde llegaron unos oficiales que estaban en, involucrados en una despirada con otros, un sospechoso. Este, nosotros agarramos la llamada primero. Este, los uh, deputies del condado agarraron una llamada que había un... un uh, Un pleito entre dos carros, era un black tajo y una uh, gris Malibu. Este, cuando llegaron los, uh, los deputies del condado, este, el carro, el gris carro comenzó, uh, no, no, lo trataron de parar, pero no lo podían parar y este, siguieron contra el carro. Este, el carro chocó aquí en la 3500 Pali. Cuando chocó el carro salieron cinco uh, sospechosos. Dos sospechosos, uh, los deputies los pescaron de volada. Uno corrió y este uno de los canines uh, lo, lo, lo pudieron agarrar. Uh, otro sospechoso andó corriendo y lo estábamos buscando, pero es, ese, ese sospechoso no lo podíamos encontrar. Otro sospechoso lo encontramos aquí en la 9700 este, Burtwood. Está allí cuando llegó la, el, el deputy de, del condado. Este, el, Comenzaron uh, unos balazos donde el sospechoso uh, le pegó al deputy con le, unos balazos y el sospechoso no vi, uh, lo tuvieron a, que llevar a un hospital, pero no, no, no vivió por el, los balazos. Este, estaba una escuela cerquita donde pescaron unos sospechos, sospechosos. Esa escuela la, estaba, la cerramos porque para estar para los niños, pero no había nada de, de este, uh, la Pudimos abrir otra vez la escuela sin problemas contra los niños. Todo está bien. Hablamos con la policía de HISD. Todo está bien. Este, es todo lo que tenemos ahorita. Si tienen preguntas de lo que pasó. How much longer will the team be involved? Give me one second. Let me just. Eran cinco. Eran cinco total. Uh, Tres tenemos ahorita que pescamos. Uno estaba aquí on, con, de, con los balazos contra los deputies y uno sí no lo podíamos encontrar. Eh, buscamos toda la área, pero ese no, no lo pudimos encontrar. ¿Sigue procedente? Sí. Okay. Eh, ¿Hispanos? Sí. Lo más lo que tenemos ahorita son hispanos, yo creo que entre de 20 a 30 años. No tenemos todavía. Los que tenemos sí les podemos dar eso, pero tenemos, uh, estamos, todavía estamos dando la investigación. Ahorita no tengo la información de esos sospechosos que tenemos. ¿Sobre arma en el que fue lesionado? Era lo más una arma que tenemos aquí cuando los deputies eh, y el sospechoso que eh, tuvieron balazos contra uno y otro. Es, es, sí, re, tenemos la arma del sospechoso aquí también. Ok, okay gracias. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear her. How much longer will this team be involved? Uh, we're just going to process it as long as it takes. Uh, it could be a couple of hours. Uh, it's just as long as it takes us to process it so we can get all the evidence recovered. Question for you. Whenever uh, deputies, I guess, were trying to pull over this gray Malibu, how long did they chase? Was, was there a chase after this car? How long did that last? <sighs> Ten minutes. Can't give you an exact time, but say about 10 minutes or so. A 10 minute chase. Yeah, okay. roughly. You know, like, was that through just on, uh, on a highway, some residential area? It appears, I mean, it's over by 59 and Aldi Mill route where it started and ended up here in the residential area. So, but as far as freeways, it didn't, that didn't get on the freeway. It's just through residential streets here. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.